Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 22. As we continue our journeyman and glory hunter run with Avangard Kursk in the Russian First Division. Uh, we're holding on to first for now. Uh, mixed results in the uh, game since the last episode. But today is going to be a pretty tough episode with the game against the number four team and then a game against the number six team. Well, let's get into it. All right, here we go. As you can see, mixed results, like I said. Uh, we did have that draw against Spartak M2, you guys saw. We then went up against Ertish Omsk and lost this game. Pretty depressing loss, all in all. I gave up a penalty early, and then uh, they picked up a, another goal before the first half, and then we nothing happened. Second half, completely silent. I don't know. I'm not sure if I felt like we should have lost that game. I know I say that all the time, but you know the way the game goes, the way that the flow goes... I really felt like we should have won that one, but I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, we then went up against Elenia. I, I simmed this game. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I didn't care. I just played as many rotation players as I could. Uh, people that were, you know, hadn't played in the previous game, stuff like that. Apparently we won. Yeah, yes. Uh, we got to go from Georgie and a go from Mazarov. Uh, I then went up against Baltica here. Uh, pretty dominant game for us. I mean, the score does not say how dominant the game actually was. We were just so dominant in possession and shots and shots on target and everything like that. The fact that we only got two goals was actually kind of surprising. Uh, we did get both of those goals from Katunsev, who I told you before, wasn't he the guy that came, got a goal back here somewhere? Yeah, right there. Katunsev back here in Volgar. Uh, he comes up against Baltica and gets a pair of goals. It's not amazing, the most amazing striker in the world, but apparently he's good enough, and it gave our other strikers a chance to rest a little bit, so that was good. Uh, today we're playing Fakel, who is fourth, and then we'll play Velas, who is sixth. Two pretty tough games, but they are home games, so hopefully that gives us a little bit of edge. Oh, before I go there, let's go look at the competitions. Uh, we are currently ahead by four points, like ahead of Ufa. Uh, so not much room for mistakes here. Let's see if we can go into the winter break. Still up in first place. I've got a couple potential loans coming in, some youngsters, stuff like that, to try and give us a little bit more rotation. Uh, I'll talk to you about those if those do come through uh, during the winter break. Uh, they can't even join until December, January, so... Nothing to talk about yet, but if they do, I'll, I'll go over that when the time comes. Uh, finances overall, still some wiggle room. So we still got some options here. But uh, I mean, I don't want to go too crazy, obviously, because I don't want to burn up the overall balance. But whatever we got to do to get out of this league should presumably give us more money if we get into the top league, right? So here we go. Let's go against Fakel here. Here's the team we're bringing. We got Chagrov and Go. Storyer comes in on the left hand side. He's a little bit fatigued and come back from injury. We're going to give him a chance. He can play about 45 minutes. We'll give him a little bit of a chance here. That way, give uh, Vorpev just a little bit of rest and, and kind of go from there. Uh, Vorenkov on the right-hand side, giving Sokhanov a bit of rest, too. He's not quite fully fit as well. Uh, then Moss and Dietz in the midfield. Kislev comes into the ball-winning midfielder spot. Sarah Buton also a bit injury-prone, as well as, honestly, a lot of our midfield as well. So that's why Darov and Tekachev coming into that spot, those spots right there. Uh, Mikhailov uh, in his normal play, advanced playmaker role. And then Galajan here alongside Klimov today. Uh, he's a pretty decent substitute for Harker. Uh, we're going to try playing him because give our other guys a bit of a rest as well. I mean, I know this is an important game, but we got to keep the rest going because we can't we can't afford too many injuries. So do what we can do and see if it's good enough. I, I don't think Klimov Harker swap is like anything that's going to like cost us the win necessarily. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Losing Harker to an injury would cost us a win. <laughs> a lot of wins. So that's kind of what I've been thinking. Oh, oh I thought we were going to get a takeaway there. Getting an early highlight here. I just realized it's, 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 the highlight is continuing here. Come on, guys. Uh-oh. 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 Really? Really? That wasn't breathtaking. That was just sad. Like, really sad. What was Chagrov doing? He fell down. Like, what? I 
I mean, if there wasn't a big giant one up there, I'd like to pretend like I didn't see that one because that was just really like unexplainable. And we're getting another highlight for Fakel here. I mean, I know they're a great team, so, but I didn't think like it'd be this one sided already. Come on guys. Today, tomorrow, come on, something. This highlight is going on forever. Oh, what is with this highlight? What is going on? I was going to say, about to wish, about to wish I hadn't said anything, but it looks like we're okay. There's Kislev. We're getting another highlight already, though. Storyer with the ball here. Good to see him back. Hopefully he doesn't get injured again. Darov back to Moss. Come on, guys. There's Storyer. Come on, buddy. Show me what you got. Our defense definitely took a hit when he got... He, he started sitting out with his injury. I can't believe we didn't score that one. Come on. Another highlight. Mr. Dietz got his head on that one temporarily, but not good enough. Oh, come on. Try that one out. All right, I want to demand some more from the group. See if I give a little bit of a, I don't know, something. <laughs> Bronkov picks up that ball. Gets up to Tekachev. Back to Dietz. All the way back to the goalkeeper. There's Moss with the ball now. Being very patient. Just fine if it ends up being something good. Dietz to Kislev. Up to Galajan. Gonna have to get it back to store. Back to Galajan. I was gonna give that one up. Darov with the ball. Kislev now. Come on, guys. Tekrachev up to Mikolov. Mikolov to come off. Oh, he's too deep. Boronkov. Mikolov. Seventh goal of the season. That's pretty good. A lot of goals from him, actually, right now. A couple of them were penalty shots, to be fair, but there we go. There we go. Got a little bit nervous there for a second. I thought we were about to give that one away. Able to come through with it. Yeah, I mean, it works. We'll take it. Now we need one more, <laughs> but we'll take that one. Pretty evenly matched so far with the with Fakel though, so I'm in a draw. Might not be the end of the world based on how we're playing. Dietz up to Dower, or Dower, I'm sorry. Amas Mikolov now with the ball. Take a chip, take a chip, go, go, go. Oh, I thought he had that one. I think he should have, to be honest, but oh well. Corner kick coming across, take a chip. There's Kilmov! Told you he would be just as good as Harker in that spot. He's taller. He's like three inches taller, I think. Uh, he doesn't have quite the same heading, but his jumping reach is better. So I knew, I knew, I knew he might be a pretty decent swap there. Ah, done. Good stuff there. All right, going up to ha into halftime with the lead always feels a little bit better. Definitely think they're capable of more. I would agree with that. Got to learn how to hold on to this, though, guys. Come on. Right. Store over to Moss. Oh, I meant to swap Store out. I'll have to swap him out here in a minute. In fact, after this highlight, I'll probably swap him out. I meant to swap him out at the 45-minute mark. There's Dietz with the ball. Come on, guys. Please don't get injured, Store. Not because I forgot. It's Darov. You're supposed to remind me. I told you at halftime story. Remind me that I'm going to sit you out. Oh, I thought we, it was a good close one, though. All right. Uh, we're about to get it's time to swap. Let's get him out of here. I just, I just don't want to risk him getting injured. He's played well. Good stuff coming back, playing well. But we need him back for 100%. Come on, Tekrachev. Apparently, we weren't going to get to see the highlight. Never mind. It was a tease. 
All right. 60 minute mark. Um, I want to say Moss is not playing well. We'll bring him out for Ruckus. Let's do that spot for now. Kislev getting tired. Oh, there we go. Burkov. Up oh, only as far as the other team's goalkeeper, though. Thought we were going to get something going there, but not quite. Kalijan's not been playing well. I'm just going with that. There's Daurov getting his foot in front of that one. Chagrov up to Dietz. Nikolov to Galajan. Galajan trying to get it to Klimov. Not able to get it to him, though. Klimov, sorry, Klimov. L before I. Come on. No, oh, give this one back. Just because I admit that a draw is probably the right result given the way we're both playing doesn't mean that's what I want. <laughs> I... Another highlight. Wow. This has been the game of highlights. Darov to Vorpev. Over to uh, Klimov. Galajan. Kislev. Mikolov. Come on, guys. There's Voronkov on the right-hand side. He's going to have a couple guys in the middle. He's going to get to him. There's Tekachev. Back to Voronkov. There's Galajan. Yes! Galajan. Finally. All right, you just saved yourself from having to sit down on the, on the bench, buddy. Just save yourself. Kind of got in the way of... Uh, Mikolov there. But I think Mikolov's back was to the to that side of the field, so he wouldn't have seen it coming in anyway. All right. Um, well, first things first. Let's do a little bit of time wasting just to make sure that's locked in. All right. Kislev obviously needs to come out. He's pretty exhausted. Ekoev or Sarah Mutin. Let's bring Sarah Mutin in here. Vronkov. Bring Sukhanov in for a few minutes. Get him a little bit of, of stuff going, and that's good enough for now. Try to build up his sharpness a bit. All right, we're going to drop down to positive. I'm going to go too... I say this all the time, but I don't want to go too, too passive here. Got Daurov or Tekarchev. I'll bring Daurov out. Georgie can come in for just a couple minutes here. See us to the end, Georgie. See us to the end. No, not like this. Or like that? What was that? It's a curve on that thing. Goodness. Thought we had a chance there. Hopes were dashed. We're going to get a corner kick. You're saying there's a chance. Nope. No chance. I mean, the way the game was looking at halftime, I would have been fine with the draw. The way the game ended up, I do think we were we were the better team. <clears throat> it's 
It's very disappointing. I mean, it's a good team. I, I know it's a good team. <sighs> so disappointing, though. All right, we'll be right back for Veles in just a moment. All right, we're back for game number two against Veles here. Home game. Um, bit of a rotation of squad again because just trying to, I, I don't know, maybe I'm too being too cautious of the injuries, but we got a lot of guys that are high on the risk right now. So here's the team. Jack Ruffin goal. Story comes back in today. He can play up to 75 minutes, so we'll see if we can get some good stuff out of him. Masin ba uh, Bakoev in the midfield. Baliev. On the right-hand side, Sokolov comes in as a ball-winning midfielder alongside Taimetsev and Kakoev in the midfield. Kostin, uh, one-star. I mean, he's played decently for us when he's played, though. Uh, comes in as um, advanced playmaker. And then a Galjan and Harker up front in their normal spots. So let's see. Hopefully it's not too much rotation. We'll find out. I mean, I didn't rotate so many players that I couldn't sub the starters back in if I absolutely had to, but... We're hoping this is going to be good enough. It's a home game, so I'm trying. I mean, I know maybe my rotation is what's costing us some of these wins, some of these draws, things like that, that we're getting instead. But um, I just, I don't know. I'm worried about I'm worried about injuries. I'm trying to be care careful and cautious here. We need to be subbing out our goalkeeper, apparently, because he's not playing well. I mean, Bakoev and Moss are plenty good enough. The story back here, I mean, they're, they're plenty good enough to, to defend against that. That's that's not a that's not a rotation thing on that one. That, those those guys are plenty good enough. Hmm, this is where the season starts to fall apart. This is where the season starts to fall apart. I mean, we always have a mid-season slump, right? I mean, that, that's pretty common. So maybe I shouldn't read too much into it. I'm going to berate the entire team. This is not good enough. Speaking of injuries, I mean, there we go. There's an injury to a backup player, but I mean, what if that had been like Sarah Mouton or Kakiov or somebody like that? Although I guess Kekko is playing, so <laughs> maybe my argument's moot. Come on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Played so well this season. And I know we're not, I'm not, I don't think we're quite to the halfway mark, but feels painful to see this start falling apart like this. Oh, no, just give it to him, guys. I mean, what's another goal? Might as well give that one to him. Oh, man. Throw on a water bottle. Oh, no, I hit one of the players. Um, well, we're going to do a couple halftime subs here. You come out for, oh, did I accidentally sit? Oh, that's so dumb. That was a mistake. 
I did not mean to sit. Um, whatever his name is. Completely forgot his name all of a sudden. Um, what are we going to do then? I mean, Kakko can come up here, I guess. Parker's not playing. What he's, he's motivated. Bring Galagen out since he's frustrated. And that bothers me. So I got two subs, so... A little bit to play with in case we have some injuries or some people get fatigued. But I just had to try some, something different here, right? Apparently what I need is 11 subs. I'm not watching your goal again. Sorry. I'm done watching all those goals. There'll be three more. Don't worry. We missed that one. We'll get to see another one here in a second. I'm not going to do any more subs. No point in getting anybody else tired at this point. We've had 11 shots, 5 on target. I mean, it's not like we should have scored something. Where's the walkout button? I just want to walk out. I don't deserve to hear from me. Pretty depressing. Um, I mean, should we have lost there? Maybe. Yeah, okay, they played better than us. Should we lost five to nothing? And I don't think so. Think think the result went the right way in some sense, but uh, the stomping, probably a little bit of the FMing going on, but All right, well you guys won't see us again until after the winter break. We'll see if we can get a couple more plays in here, help with the rotation a bit more. I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say about just something like that. Don't know what to say. Drop down to second place, which is going to be so incredibly hard to get that back. Oh well, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.